in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or little halfway house you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of wealth. The worker will raise one eyebrow as if puzzled by your request, but ask a second time anyway. The worker will shrug and take you across the street, where an opulent mansion awaits. This mansion was not there when you first started your quest, but... <laughs> it's not best to preoccupy yourself with the mansion's origins. Its owner will not be rather happy or ra rather not scare you away. Inside the front door will lie a grand staircase, spiraling up the foyer. The walls will be covered with just fine art and amazing paintings, and a large marble statue will rest on a pedestal by the base of the stairs. The statue's elder rich features will invoke an image of a truly horrific beast, once both alien and evil. Now, you may admire it all you want, but don't touch it unless you wish to awaken this starved monster that lies within. Ascend the staircase, and as long as you touch nothing, you're in no danger. No panic. At, at the top of the stairs, there'll be a small, unassuming wooden door. Now, this door should open up for you, as long as you're not afraid. You should soon see a man with a pointed goatee and a short, chopped, gelled hair standing behind a large desk of what will appear to be mahogany. His suit will be unnerving at best. It will appear to be made out of both human skin and Italian silk. He may speak at great length. He will talk about his amazingly beautiful house and his lovely statue of his concubine resting downstairs. But do not interrupt him, and do not answer any questions he may ask. When he is finished, steal yourself and confidently ask, May I have my salary? He will proceed to explain to you in great detail the value of a life. He will then talk of things worse than death, and he will tell you exactly what he expects you to do. The fabulous interior of the room will rot away, something out of Silent Hill, and the floors will turn into French weave and faces. His own appearance will become unimaginable, unimaginably cyclopean and horrendous, and then he will fish out a small blank note inside of his human suit and hand it to you. That note is Object 8 of 538. Its holder is counting on you to spend it. <laughs> in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. When you reach your front desk, ask to visit someone who calls herself the holder of nothing. Should a look of sheer primal disgust mar the worker's expression, you'll be taken to a separate building, one that appears to be old, a wooden outhouse. Inside will be a seemingly endless corridor, far longer than the length of the outhouse. The corridor will be completely silent. Attempting to remake or make any sound at the wrong time is a grievous, laminate, terrible mistake. You'll notice the lights in the corridor getting brighter and brighter as you make your way towards the end. Soon, you'll be blinded by their brilliance. If at any point a light goes out, quickly shout out, No, stop! What you're doing is wrong! While backing away. If the lights do not come back on, bolt for the door you came through. Should it still open, hopefully you won't be too far enough down the hallway for it to close in on you. It does close. <laughs> An attorney of hell will be much more preferable to what you will suffer. If the lights come back on, continue walking down the corridor. At the end of the hallway will lie a single cell at the arranged several harlequin-like formations. The worker will open the door for you and discuss. Inside the door will be a mad passate of colors. 
You must not be distracted by them. For at the center of the room is a naked young woman, slithered in blood, bound by strips of human snoo. If you take your eyes off of her for even a moment, she will completely and totally destroy you. She'll only respond to what question, one question. What were they when they were one? She will stare into your eyes and speak the answer in incredible detail. It will be unlike anything you ever heard and you'll be both on the verge of ecstasy and agony upon her mere words. It's not uncommon for a seeker to lose himself in euphoria. The worst thing he can do, however, is look upon the tattoo on her chest. Your mind will attempt to gaze on it, but you must resist. If you do not, and foolishly set your eyes upon it, you'll fall victim to her horrifying power. She'll flay you and add your mutilated flesh to her bindings. And you'll remain trapped with her fully conscious for the rest of time. That tattoo is object four of 538. They desire to be one again, but <laughs> you know they mustn't, right? <laughs>